welcome to Sunday Night Hymn Praise, you all. Hallelujah. Thank you all for joining us. I know we have an adjusted start time, but for the next two weeks, we're actually going to have an adjusted start time. As next week, we will have another special, um, we will have a special two Black History Month presentations going on next week. But please do me a favor. In order for us to be successful every night, every time we broadcast, we need you to like and share. That's what makes this go. Your presence and when you like and share. So please let's get those likes up. Let's get those shares up and put in the comments what city and state you're tuning in from. We'll be right back. God is doing something wonderful in me. God is doing something wonderful in me. Something awesome and incredible that only He will get the glory. God is doing something wonderful, incredible and awesome. God is doing something wonderful in me. Oh, yes, He is. I know that He is. God is doing God is doing something wonderful in me. My God is doing, God is doing something wonderful in me. Something awesome and incredible. Awesome and incredible. And only He will get the glory. God is doing something wonderful, incredible and awesome. God is doing something wonderful in me. Is He doing something wonderful in you? Come on, why don't you help me sing this line here? Come on. God is doing, God is doing something wonderful in me. God is doing something God wonderful, is doing something in wonderful in me. Something awesome and something incredible. Awesome and incredible. That only He will get the glory. God is doing something wonderful, incredible and awesome. God is doing something wonderful in me. Yes, He is. Hallelujah. Come on, sing with me. So wonderful. So Amen. Welcome back. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you so much for sharing. And for those of y'all who haven't submitted your photos yet, tomorrow is the last day we're going to start working on our next hymn roll call video. Where I'm excited tonight to have a friend and brother, um, Mark Payne, with whom I, I met a few years ago. Um, I've known him, seen him, followed him for years, but uh, I was able to bring him to town, him along with Henry Davis to the DB area to do a concert and really got to know him more as a musician, more as a, as a man of God. And he is just, I mean, he's rock solid. You all, you, you are in a, a, going to be blessed tonight by Dr. Mark Payne. He is the minister of music of the Without Walls Church in Florida. And for years, he has done great and mighty things in the kingdom of God. Will you all please help me welcome you all fasten your seatbelts. We're going to have a great time in worship tonight. Help me, help me please welcome. And let me get my applause together. Dr. Mark Payne. Great to, it's great to have you again, brother. It is so great to be here with you, Philip. Well, we're going to talk more, but I, I just want to tell you, you know, before we get started, that, that is that um, I am really just appreciative of you and your ministry down through the years and uh, following you and watching you. Uh, this is a pleasure again to have you. And what an honor and a pleasure it is to be with you. You're just doing so many great things in the kingdom and making and opening doors for other artists and musicians, and I appreciate it, and I'm sure every, everyone else does. Well, God bless you. Well, let's get started. I'll start, and we'll see, and we'll see what the Lord has.
I need to let that anointing just sit for a minute, you all. We are here. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. How great thou art. Oh, my gosh. And all of his wonder and all of his splendor. How great thou art. You all, we are here tonight with Dr. Mark Payne, who is an anointed vessel of the Lord. And uh, we are just, uh, we're just so glad to have him. Each week, you all, we are blessed with so much, so much. God has looked upon us with so much favor. And so this week, I want you all just to rest in this spirit, rest in this love. Let it engulf you. Let it take away your issues and your problems. Let the Lord's presence be with you for just a few minutes tonight so that you can bask in it and really enjoy and take in this moment because moments are all we have. Dr. Mark Payne, thank you once again for having us. Tell us what has been going on in your life uh, since the last time we've talked. Wow, so much. Uh, let's see, where do I start? Well, I have not one but two new grandbabies. <laughs> How's that for a start? And they're only months apart. Uh, Kylie and Amara, my two daughters, and uh, <clears throat> they are such a blessing to us. I mean, you know, having kids is one thing, being grandparents is a those of you who know, grandparenting is a whole nother uh, privilege and honor and joy. And they are a joy to us. All our grandkids, our grandkids, Solomon and, and, uh, and Lord, she's going to kill me for getting her name. <laughs> oh, my God. Christina, please help me right now. Anyway, there are four of them. And before I finish talking, I better come up with that other name or I'm going to be dead meat. <laughs> you got time. Do you find that, uh, uh, well, I know you, I know, I mean, I know you probably spoiling them, but do you find, as, as one grandparent told me, that you know now with the grandchildren what's not going to kill them that you thought was going to kill the children or you thought, man, is it, is it easier to be a grandparent? Much easier because we can love them, tickle them, give them plenty of candy, and send them home. <laughs> Olivia is our other granddaughter. I can never forget that name. <laughs> never ever, especially live on. <laughs> you say, what's been going on in my life? Uh, my mind. <laughs> Lord, my mind is gone. Well, I see your pastor on here, Anthony J. Brown. Uh, without, is he the piece of pastor, right? He's a pastor without walls in the National Church. New, new pastor without walls. He's coming and been a breath of fresh air, loving, anointed, called of God, and giving a now word to our congregation, just hugging us and and renewing uh, that church. And it's growing every day by leaps and bounds. And he's stretching out faith to believe God for big things. Well, thank you so much, Pastor, for joining us tonight. It's really, it really speaks volumes for a pastor to come on and support their musician. Uh, as a musician, as a minister of music, I tell you, that really speaks volumes. So thank you, sir, so much. How have you adjusted or how has your church adjusted? Then we'll move on from there. How has your church adjusted to the pandemic? Is there anything new or things that you are doing now that you, that you will keep because of the pandemic? It's hard to say. You know, we, we had limiting uh, attendance uh since he's been there you know it's been it's only he's only been at the church since august mm -hmm. of last year so uh uh and um so it's been an adjustment but we're, we'll probably keep uh and follow the cdc uh guidelines but we've pretty much been open and uh, people have been very careful we sanitize and do all the things that you do in having church uh but uh we're pretty much open and God is healing and delivering and doing what he always does. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been working on anything musically? <clears throat> I have, uh, but I have a son-in-law who writes and sings, and I've been, I get more joy out of producing his music than, and forget about, oh, yeah, I was working on something for myself, but he's got all this new stuff that he's doing, so I get caught up in it. But I do have a new project that I've been working on uh, with some hymns and also some original songs, so... We'll be putting that out soon. Well, well, I mentioned to you yesterday or the day before yesterday that Sister Gail, I'll be joining Sister Gail Jones Murphy next week, and she's on here. She's been uh, having having good church with the rest of us watching you tonight. Um, uh, it's, uh, I'm going to turn you a loose, man, because I, I don't want to talk too long. I know people really want to hear you play, so if you could do one of those tracks for us, uh, 
that would be wonderful. You all, we're here with Dr. Mark Payne again. Enjoy him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we, the track need to cut out. We need to hear the rest of you finish the song. That was an absolute blessing. God bless you, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Never know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, look, it's a good thing you know how to play. It's, it's like, it's like you, you know how to play, you'd you be all right. <laughs> God and God alone, man. That's a wonderful song. A lot of people know that song from back in the day. Uh, don't hear it that much no more, but it's still, it's still a very anointed and effective song. So thank you so much for rendering that selection. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So how many albums do you have out? 
Let's see. Online, I think there are four. First one was Perfect Peace, mm -hmm. Glorify Him, and then I did uh, A Test of Time, which is, has some vocals. Actually, I'm singing on that, believe it or not. And then, uh, and then we have Secret Place 1 and 2. Actually, hey, no, there's three, of, three Secret Place. There's three Secret Place. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I heard you singing in the sound. Like, I, I, I wonder if Mark is going to sing for us tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a little story. I'm going to tell you who encouraged me to sing. First, well, the first person who encouraged me to sing was Phil Nicholas mm. of Phil and Brenda. Mm -hmm. uh, and she, uh, I think Brenda heard me and said, Mark, you, you can sing. And I thought, you think I can sing? And then my other encouragement was Edwin Hawkins because my range wasn't very high, and I always loved it his range and his tone and how he enunciated and how he was just such a professional at what he did. So I emulate his, his voice all the time. I'm, I'm keeping Edwin Hawkins alive in my voice. <laughs> well, you want to sing something for us? I, right. See, I set myself up for that, didn't I? Once I get this delay, next time I get this delay off, I can sing a little Edwin Hawkins for you. But I did do, uh, he'll be there. When I need him. He's always there Whenever a problem He'll help me bear When the nights are dark He's always there When no one's there When he calls him, he'll be there. Call him, he'll answer prayer. Call him, he'll be there. Call him, he'll answer prayer. That's classic Hawkins. My favorite Edwin Hawkins. Um, I had two of them. I liked the one like he, when he did the duet with uh, LaShawn Pace. They did a song called Wealthy Place. That was one of my favorites. And my favorite Edwin Hawkins is uh, he did a Jesus. Remember that when he did the version of it? Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Just smooth as butter. <laughs> There's just something about that name master savior jesus like a fragrance after the rain, Jesus, 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 let all heaven and earth. That kings and kingdoms shall all pass away, but there's something about. 
about that name. The choir will come in. Right there, that's, that's, that was smooth right there all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is uh, another song he did on the Imagine Heaven song, album. And I am so glad to know he's all I need. He wipes the tears from my eyes. Started something here, Mark. <laughs> Cause I got this song in my head. We learn from my mistakes. Each one a little more grace. And our faults we must face and deal with the consequences of our actions. Somehow God makes the road we take work out for our good. He's a specialist taking worthlessness Building character while we blunder And as he shows us a little more of ourselves We cry out for more of his help And he restores a little more grace Just a little more grace. Line upon line. Precept upon precept. We live and we learn and we grow and we come through his plan. shall stand stripped of the old man and soon will be just like he oh Lord yes
Yes, Lord. You all, we are here tonight with Dr. Mark Payne. He's blessing us mightily. Would you please sow into his ministry? His cash app is coming up there, his PayPal and his Zelle. He has all three. Let's be a mighty blessing to him tonight and his family. Amen. He is, oh my God, such an accomplished musician and such a, a mighty man of God who we can't tell half of his story tonight, all the things that he's been able to do. Uh, but let's be a blessing to him tonight. Amen. And while we're at it, go ahead and put your uh, requests in. We're going to start taking some requests and we'll do what we can uh, with the time that we have left. So go ahead and put your requests in. Amen. We have several different forms going on. We have YouTube, we have uh, two, two Facebook, uh, three Facebook pages. So um, there's a lot more people requesting than you all think. So as you put in your request, we'll get into as many as we can. Uh, but it may not be in the order that you're seeing it on your current form. Okay. So, so Mark, I try to do a verse and a chorus so we can get, get through them. Unless the spirit move you to do otherwise. Can you do Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross for Sister Martha Lee? sure y'all put your request in only one time we do we saw your request the first time just put in one time so we can try to get through as many as we can uh who's in for you donald mcclain
do great is our faithfulness for Sister Monique Austin. Sister Martha Lee, we are definitely uh, praying for you and the loss of your sister. For those of y'all who just joined us for the first time, welcome to Hymn Praise. We're here Sunday night, Tuesday night, and Thursday night, and every morning, 7.30 in the morning for morning devotion, 20 minutes of song, scripture, and prayer on YouTube. And then we have a rebroadcast at 8 p.m. each night, Eastern Time, on Facebook. And we have a prayer wall that happens every day um, after our morning broadcast from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. on YouTube as well. So please, ma'am, please, sir, subscribe to the Philip Carter YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't already, we have things on both Facebook and YouTube. And so come on, join the Hymns family. We are a loving group, and we're doing a lot. And, and, and it's, this is a wonderful, safe, and sacred space for anybody that, that, that desires to come and make a difference online. So we're here with Br Brother Mark Payne. Somebody has requested uh, the blood would never lose its power. So how about I'll do the, I'll do the verse, you, you come on behind me with the chorus.
Mr. Dale Irvin. You know, glorious is the name of Jesus. Oh, I, I, I play it. That's for you, Mrs. For you, Miss Simi Driver. Come thy fount.
while we are here with Mark Payne again, please let's be a blessing to him. He has Cash App, both Cash App, PayPal, and uh, Zelle, as we always do. Thank you so much for your gifts in advance. But let's be a blessing to him and his ministry tonight, as we as you have been every week with people uh, who come on these broadcasts. For those of y'all who never join us, but haven't joined us before welcome once again we want you all to know who regularly join us that this week of course this week was an adjusted time so will next week we will be broadcasting next week at 7 p.m eastern standard time sunday night hymn praise will resume at our normal 9 30 time the week after that but 7 p.m sister gail jones murphy and i will be doing something special so we want you all to join us next sunday at 7 p.m Sharp. So please make a note of that. Please, ma'am. Please, sir. Do you know Still Away? for Gladys Carter. Mark, just, just pause right there. A lot of people don't really talk a lot about Jesse Dixon, but Jesse Dixon was major. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I had a, a chance to accompany him on se several times. One was uh, actually in uh, Asia, in India. Uh, there was a thing we did uh, with he and Archie Dennis and Sarah Jordan Powell. They called it Songs of the Seasons. They loved Christmas music. And so we would go over there uh, every year and minister. And man, he would when he hit that stage, it was just all over. It was over. And he, I mean, you know, he wrote so many great songs. Uh, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary. All those songs, man. Just I miss him. I do too. I, he, he he really, really was, was a character, a character. Yeah. <laughs> in a good in a good way. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 What else we got? Oh, how great thou art. You want to do a little bit of that?
goes for Dr. Velma Smith. Do you know a little bit of uh, We Expect You? I, I, I can't put it in my head, but do you know it? get into him. I mean, we're going to be sitting here all night for the next hour. I'm going to leave it alone. Andre, the, the genius of Andre Crouch. I mean, really, really, yeah. We can talk about that all day long. Um, that was for Sister Carmel Tate Miller, and this is for, this one is for, for Mother Mary. Our brother Marcus Johnson, I'm not the same. Do you know a little bit of that? Yes, that's my brother-in-law. <laughs> he trying to set you up, ain't he? <laughs> it's all right, let's see. I'm trying to think of the key. Let's see.
Stevens. <laughs> My God. Like that one lady does in the Ricky Diller video. Sing on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Those Hawkins well, songs mess you up, man. Buddy, I tell people all the time, if you've never been to a Hawkins family concert, you just have no idea. And when I, used, when I did some playing for them, I was just really concerned, like I am with, uh, with uh, Richard Smallwood, did I get it right? It's, you know, some people, you just don't, it's, it's, you're concerned about everybody, but you, you get really concerned when you get around Smallwood and the Hawkins. You wanted to, you wanted to be right. Yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. And they got it right. <laughs> and we're still learning. <laughs> I remember one time I was doing a Kevin Bond song, I believe, believe that he wrote for them, and I promise you, I was just, I mean, I knew the song, but still sweat drops was going down my face. Yeah, when, when he's sitting right there listening or looking over your shoulder, it's a little different. It and like, they know how to play it. They know how to play the song, too. Exactly. Yeah, I used to go to concerts uh, with the Voice of Supreme years ago, and I'd listen to Henry play, and I'd run up on the stage, and I wanted to show him I could play it just like him, and my hands would just lock up. <laughs> I couldn't play. And he made it look so easy. He still does. It's, it's, yeah, I'm going to slap him. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mark, it's almost, it's almost over. Uh, I, let's do two things. We'll play a concluding song, but I want you to, can you give us, everybody here, and, and, and thank you so much for joining us, uh, can you give everybody just a word of encouragement before we go? Well, there are a lot of things going on in the world. And if you pay attention to everything that's going on in the world, it can just weigh you down to a point where some people just think, why go to church? Why believe in God? Why does God let all these things happen? But a long time ago, and I go back to Baltimore, Maryland, when I first got saved, and, and uh, there are just things that you learn over life that the enemy wants you to forget. Mm -hmm. He wants you to forget the things that, 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 are, that are buried deep inside your heart that you cannot lose. And you got to know that God never fails that whatever he put in you, there's a purpose for it, and you can't leave here until that purpose is fulfilled. And so I just want to leave here empty, doing everything God told me to do. Amen. That's, that's, that's a perfect, uh, perfect uh, word for the night. We intend to die empty. Amen. Die empty. Can you uh, leave us with a concluding song, whatever you want to lead us, and then I'll, I'll pray us out and we'll be done.
Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for that. That was awesome. Awesome. Fitting song to end tonight. Listen, um, for those of you all uh, who are just joining us, thank you once again. Hymns family, thank you so much for all of your support to all of our artists. And thank you so much to the support to this ministry that allows us to do things on this level online. We really appreciate you. We're definitely praying. I am Boosie K. We're praying for that one-year-old girl that you mentioned uh, tonight that needs prayer. Praying that God would touch her body in the, in the name of Jesus, that God would meet the need right now, that he would go into that hospital room, even while we are all here tonight, praying that God would heal, touch, heal, and deliver. And by his stripes, may she be healed, she or he be healed in the name of Jesus. God, please stop by and touch that one-year-old baby. Touch somebody's heart tonight that needs comfort, somebody that needs peace. Lord, may we not worry about anything tonight because we have prayed about everything and we can look to you for all of our needs, knowing that our needs will be met, both physical and spiritual. We give you praise tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You all join us tomorrow morning, 7.30, uh, 7.30 in the morning Eastern Time. And I forgot to mention this Friday night, uh, February the 25th, we will be featuring Dr. Jacqueline Chambers live in concert on Facebook and YouTube. She will be live in concert. Dr. Jacqueline Chambers, you are welcome. You are invited to join us. If you haven't heard Dr. Chambers, you are you in for a great treat. If you have, you already know, this is one concert you don't want to miss. Dr. Jacqueline Chambers, this Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on all of our channels. Amen. God bless all of you, Dr. Mark. Hang on for a second. Everybody take care. God bless you. Good night.